Oh, they're under attack again. But not an official attack. Alright, so... There are things I could do. I could go to the bell tower, because it's here. And then... Uh, I just want, I would like to go to the fortress. But, logically and logistically, it's not a bad idea for me to get this bell tower, and then, like, wingsuit down to... Uh, the chopper. Oh god, this is a tiny ass bridge. <laughs> but when you have crappy radio stations like this playing music, you just, you gotta, you know? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah, I headshot him. And nope, headshot the, the civilian as well. Okay, if anyone is inside of the tower... Now is the time to reveal yourself so I can shoot the shit out of you. Whoa. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, alright, more people are shooting arrows at me. I believe he was to my left. Yep, he's dead now. Mounted guns are amazing. There's still another person left, but I'll just shoot him normally. Oh, he's a heavy soldier, dude. Well, then that's easy. I'm trying to shoot his gas tank out. There we go. Eagle? I heard your noises. Those are your attack sounds. I don't know why you announce yourself like that, but... Let me know what's up. Let's see what happens. Alright. So, I want to be really risky and... Try and wingsuit into the tower or something. Ah! Uh, there you go. What's going on? Oh, shit. Why is there a helicopter here? I guess it doesn't matter now. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, there are a lot of eagles around here, too. What the fuck? This is the most vicious bell tower I've ever had to go into. Fucking helicopters and eagles. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. I was holding E so that way I could grapple, but I guess they don't want to do that to me. <laughs> oh, he's still alive down there. Stop that. Uh, now, can I still get to the grapple hook from here? I should be able to. What? Seriously? The only reason I jumped out is because I assumed I could, you know, grapple back up. It makes no sense. Fine, I guess I'll just... Go a different way, but this is the right way at the same time. Hold up. There we go, okay. Got lost for a few seconds. Now, I really want to find one of these propaganda posters because we only need one more to get the next reward. And that next reward might be a mission for taking out propaganda places. Because we haven't done one of those in a while. For Robbie Ray Rana? I miss Robbie Ray Rana. We haven't interacted with him in a while, you know? God damn, this is really high up. <laughs> oh boy. But we've made it. We have survived. There's a fucking mounted gun up here for some reason. Maybe we were supposed to, like, climb the tower and then use the mounted gun to take out the helicopter. Which, admittedly, probably would have been a lot cooler than just using a grenade launch to instantly kill it. Okay. Or maybe just Sky Machali Village. No, oh, no, I punched the dude with the sunglasses. Okay, so, uh, I want to get the propaganda posters real quick. I have no idea where those are. 
Ah, they might be a ground level, huh? Stop. Okay! He just got viciously assaulted by a leopard who was unfortunately killed in the explosion. So now what's gonna happen? You gonna you gonna communicate with me, Robbie? Robbie, buddy! Come on, we're friends! Mmm. Alright, Robbie Ray's not gonna talk to me. He's just gonna use me for my good looks. Actually, okay, hold up. Let's see. Uh, map filter. Where are the propaganda? Oh, the propaganda centers are the, the things being torn apart. Oh, then I have tons of those that I haven't been doing, I think. Yeah, there's one right up here. What the fuck am I talking about? Sorry, Robbie. I've been totally dissing on you, even though you totally have had missions available for me. See, I think that's one of the problems when you have, like, a lot of the side mission things be relatively the same looking icon, and by that I mean it's like, a, it's a circle with a green outline. Or rather, it's a green circle with a bunch of white shit inside of it. And so when I have, like, 50 of those on the map, I just kind of filter it all out. It's how come the Mohan Gale journals kind of look like the propaganda posters because they're just blue icons on the map. And I'm like, oh, I don't need to go for that. And then I miss a journal. But I guess, you know, it's probably better than having all the colors be, uh, <laughs> different. And you just have a rainbow of different objective markers. Ooh, hey, look at this. That's convenient. Sup, Sherpa? I would gladly take some body armor from you. Now, can the F1 have a silencer? How much does it cost, actually? Oh, it's free because I got. Oh, cool. All right. Uh. So, can I have a silencer? It can have a silencer or a sound suppressor. It can even have a, a mag or a sight. Let's see how this fires. I think it's a burst fire. Many yep. Ooh! I like that! I can make it so I only fire one shot! Rather than firing the full burst. Okay, this is the best burst rifle I have ever had in a video game. Because usually the moment you tap, it just does that, right? But instead in this game, tap, 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 tap. And that's always been my biggest gripe with burst fire guns in games like this. Because if I- if I'm trying to shoot a dude, and I shoot him perfectly like this... Then he's not, you know, no- then I don't have to worry about much. And that's exactly what I can do with most games, if you just can fire like this. But in most games, actually, I'm, I'm going all over the place, but in most games, what they do is that. So if I kill him with the first shot, then I have like two or three other bullets fly past him and everyone's like, Oh shit! Someone's firing guns! But, uh, I digress. We're gonna go there with the Bushman anyway, so it doesn't matter. Still, that was neat. Come back! I need your good car! Dick. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I don't care about you anyways. I do care about him. Uh, wait, what about looting the documents? Karma event. Chase. Loot the documents. Uh, did I do something? Wow, they all survived that? I was headshotting the shit out of that car. <laughs> okay. So, I guess the Golden Path dude just killed a courier. <laughs> Cause I definitely didn't do anything, what the hell? Hey buddy. Oh, 
What's going on in this little tiny house out here? Hmm? Can I go inside? No. Ah. So it's just a random house. Okay, fine. I am going to go scope out the area real quick from up here. And hopefully I can- Ah, god damn fucking eagle! I heard you, but I didn't expect you were gonna attack! I shot you! I hurt you! Okay. Is he actually gonna fall up here? No. He rolled down the mountainside. Damn. Okay. So, anyways. We need to actually get closer. I'm gonna lead him so I can sell his feathers. I can recover a little bit of the mental trauma that just occurred. But let's see what we have going on inside RJ, of... You are in dangerous territories right yeah. now. Bacon's fortress is nearby. His men will not let it fall easily, not as long as he's alive. Keep that in mind, brother. Yeah, I gotcha, but I don't want to kill pagan men anyways. So... What if the place never weakens, you know? Alright, I can't a there we go. I can't access my radio menu while it was telling me what the area was called. Okay. I need to be careful here. Because I don't know where all the mines are. Can I climb up these? Because that would be awesome. I don't think so, though. We're going to stealth this place. It's the ultimate test, right? The ultimate stealthing area. One big ass fortress. Alright, I fucked up. I was hoping I could go along the wall. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so what I said about stealthing and all that? Never mind. Come on, gun for hire. Get in there. Descending you reinforcements. Hehe! <laughs> While they are distracted, the big man shall play. The mercenary died already? Jeez, buddy! Can I call another one? He ran to a mine, I think. I think that's exactly what, it, what happened. That was really close. All right. That guy slightly turned around. Hold up. Damn. Fuck you too then. I wanted to throw a knife from and win that way. But there you go, the fourth fortress, Rajad Gulag, which is not really all that intimidating of a fortress in comparison to like Norse fortress. Norse Norse fortress was like a mountain scary ass fortress. This one's more like, oh man, look, it's worn down. It's a prison camp looking place. Oh, hey, that opened up another fashion mission. RJ, brother. On behalf of the Golden Path and your father's legacy, thank you so much. Pagan's stronghold is ours, and Kira will finally see her children reclaim their rightful place once Pagan is dead. Yeah, once Pagan's dead. Uh, yeah, whenever that happens. <laughs> I don't want to kill Pagan. 
It's probably gonna happen, he's probably gonna do something, he's gonna be all evil and stuff like that, but... Right now, he's just kind of misguided, about as misguided as everybody else. Plus, he's just got charisma! What do we got? Uh, turn a local tragedy into a bold-fashioned statement. Thick skin, the rare elephant has fallen ill to a rare disease, which brings madness and ultimately death. End his suffering and honor Thick Skin's memory with Chiffon's fierce design. I just glitched the thing. Hold up. Oh, really? I abandoned the mission, and that has to like make me do a checkpoint thing. Excuse me, lady. I I just I glitched my my dialogue, and it wasn't playing. So I want to make sure I hear it, rather than having it glitch out. What the fuck? The fuck? AJ, this is no ordinary elephant. This is the meanest, ugliest pachyderm you will ever encounter. It's terrorized people for years, much like King You Knew Ho You Know Who. King You Know Who. Oh, you've seen what war has done to this country, and I want to reflect that. I saw an opportunity to solve a local problem, make a bold statement in my work. Now lace up those vulgar trainers of yours, head over to the place I've indicated on your map, and be fierce. Okay. I don't know how fierce I can be without you actually telling me what to do, though. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Let's go kill ourselves an elephant, friends. Preferably from the sky. Depending on what happens here. Alright, what do we got? A rocket launcher? Shit. Oh, it's a flamethrower! Ow, 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 alright, alright. Dick. Hunt thick skin with a fire weapon. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Isn't the entire point of me trying to, like, get the skin off of him? So, burning it doesn't seem like a great idea. So, where's the other- Elephant! Oh, shit! Oh, God! Ah, run! Run, you fools! Fly! Flee! Oh, God. I gotta burn him. I gotta burn him alive. You're on fire! Oh, at least he killed the civilian, not me. <laughs> I need a better place to fight and fight this elephant, dude. Yeah! Haha! I have become one with the environment. The rock shall allow me to witness the inferno that is me being ultimately fierce. It'll also prevent me from skinning the animal, so this is gonna take a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, fire can't last forever! Uh, okay. Alrighty! Karate Fashion Week, the fucking scary ass goddamn elephant. What is this gonna allow me to craft now? Explosives. Oh, eh, neat. I don't use too many explosives nowadays, now that I just have an integrated goddamn grenade launcher. Uh, but, I'm happy with this, okay. So, with all of that done, we have conquered the fortress, grabbed a whole bunch of the areas, we are going to take a little bit of a break, and when we get back, we are actually gonna check out Herc, since his mission's the closest to a fast travel point. So, be right back. <laughs> 